So if at one point in your life, this is only as I said it before, I'm saying it again. This is not for everybody. Not all of you are going to do it. Not all of you are going to ex- admit it or, or resonate with what I'm saying. This is only for a few people who are ready. They're, they have gone through thousands of years of karmic experiences. Now they are ready to awaken. This is the last stage of their, their awakening. They're ready to go for it. So they're going to hear this. This is going to resonate with you. It's going to click. Other people, they're very attached to their story. And in this work, at one point, you have to let go of everything. You have to let go of everything that you, do, you know. Because none of them are going to do any good for you. When it comes to full realization on a spiritual path, you got to let go of all the ideas that you have. Whatever your ideas are about spirituality, you're going to have to let them go. You have to be a completely naked, like a newborn baby, and come to the stage saying, I don't know anything. I don't know anything. God, give it to me. I, I know nothing. So, what you want to do is pay attention to yourself. And when th- you, the idea of you comes, me, and you can say, you know, I like that tree. You see that tree? I like that tree. So, I'm going to use a simple example. All right, so who likes that tree? You ask yourself, and it says, I. I like that tree. So who is this I? Who is this me? So you question it. Who is this me who likes that tree? Who am I? Who is this me? So when I asked you who you are and who is this me, what do you answer? Somebody asks you, who are you? What do you answer? The common answer is, oh, I am Zarathustra. My name is Zarathustra. I'm a spiritual teacher or healer or whatever. Or I'm a father or I'm, I'm a whatever. I'm a son. Uh, I'm a nurse. I'm a doctor. I'm a truck driver. Um, I'm American. I am da 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 da. You attaching, when I ask you who you are, you're coming with these things of defining who you are. But I'm not asking about your nationality. I'm not asking about your sex. I'm not asking if you're a father. I'm not asking you if you're an engineer. I'm asking you, who are you? It's a very direct experience question. Who are you? And most people, if you take these other things away from them, they can't answer the question. They're like, uh, 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 uh. But you lived with yourself for 40, 50, 60 years. By now, you should know who you are. You've been living in this body all your life. But you can't answer a simple question. I asked you, who are you? I'm not asking you what's your name. I'm not asking you your nationality. I'm not asking what you do for work. And I'm not asking if you're a mom or your dad. I'm asking you, who are you? So all of a sudden, you can't answer it. You're stuck with it. So this I... Well, I am a person, blah, blah, blah. So now I'm forcing you to bring your attention inwards to take a look at this me, this I, this sense of I, me, individual, that you have had since your childhood, that you've never questioned, and now I'm going to challenge you. I'm going to question you for the first time in your life. 
Who is this I? Who is this me? Who are you? I want you to look into it. So when you look at it for the first time, this me, this I, and you're really being honest with yourself. You're not trying to fool yourself. Okay? This thought comes for you. This I. Now, you may not be able to right away give me an answer, but there is something else you can do. This me, this I, that says, I really like that tree. That's a beautiful tree. I like it. Okay? I want you to cut the connection between this I that you're referring to, this you, cut the connection with the tree that it likes. So if you cut that connection, then there is this me, this I, standing there, but now it's not relating itself to something. You cut its connection. I, I like that tree. Now you're cutting that, so it says I, I what? You know, Zarathustra, I ha you know, you start telling me your stories of your past. That, you know, this happened to you, that happened to you, you're, it's unfortunate, blah, blah, blah. Okay, cut the connection between this I and the past and examine the eye. Take a look at it and see what happens to it. You keep doing this with whatever comes up for you. Whatever. When you remember, whatever comes up for you, cut the connection between I, you, and whatever is the story. Let's say the story is that there is this pandemic happening in the world. The coronavirus thing. Okay? That what's going to happen, what's going to happen to our future, where is the planet going, okay? So you're very concerned about your future or you're very concerned the thought comes that what's going to happen with my finances? What's going to happen to me in a year from now on? So, again, it's about me. So, you cut the connection between me and the story of what's going to happen. Do it right now. Let's do an exercise. Whatever is your concern, what is, what is your concern? What's scaring you? What's bothering you the most? Okay? Bring that story and see how your mind is playing it. It says, because it's 100% without a doubt connected to you. It's not about anything else. It's a concern you have. It's something you're worried about. Like you're concerned about, let's say, uh, what's going to happen to the forest. They're cutting all the trees. It's a concern you have. That there's a me, there's an I thought, and a story. Cut that story. And then observe the I thought and see what happens. What happens when you do this uh, regularly and you're attentive to your practice, this I can't stand out, this me, this identity of you that you think you are a person. 